Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our travel trailer, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Hopkins Electronic LED Smart Level. Now many times we get to the campsite late and it's going to be dark outside and can be a real inconvenience to try to carry a flashlight around and check our traditional level to make sure that we're good. Well that's where this comes in. Since our LEDs are so bright and so visible, we can just give a quick look and make our adjustments. And as well as those LEDs, it's also still going to have that traditional bubble level as well. Now what's really cool about this, not only can you measure from front to back, but it's also going to pivot, and that way you can measure from side to side. Now what's really cool about this, if we're not sitting level, this is actually going to tell us where to make those adjustments to make sure that we do end up reaching that level position. And this is what it'll look like if we need to make any adjustments. So these LEDs indicate the front of the trailer and these indicate the back of the trailer. So with one bar lit up, this means that the front of the trailer needs to get raised. The more bars that are lit up, the higher it's going to need to go. So I'll go ahead and raise the front of the trailer up and this will let us know when we need to stop. Now that our display shows the long green bar, we know we're level. And to make sure that we're level from side to side, we'll just pivot it out this way and check and see if we're good, which here we are. But to give you an example, if I put some side pressure on it, you can see that light indicates that we need to lift the left side up. And when I let that pressure off and everything kind of gets situated again, it'll go back to green. Now one thing I would recommend to make leveling even more easy is a Hopkins leveling ramp kit. And that is going to work perfectly with the device. They're going to be blocks that correspond with the lights. That way we can make those adjustments very easy. If one light is lit up, we need to put one block under our motorhome or trailer. Now when we do have this attached and we happen to get some inclement weather, we're not gonna have to worry too much. It's gonna have this nice case to help keep it protected and everything's going to be weatherproof to help resist any rain or debris from getting inside. Now one thing I do wanna point out, and I'm not particularly fond of, is the lid. Now it's gonna get the job done as far as covering and protecting our device goes. However, in my opinion, it does feel just a little bit flimsy. So keep that in mind when opening and closing it, especially on those cold, brittle days. Well, one of the things I really like is that our actual level can be completely removed, fold it open, we just push this tab in and slide it back. That way when we're not using it, we can keep it out of the weather, help prevent any theft, and when we're traveling down the road, we can take this off to make sure it doesn't get damaged. Now the main bracket does come prepared with double-sided sticky tape, however I would highly recommend also securing it down with the included screws. That way we can guarantee that this isn't going to go anywhere. Now we're gonna get all the benefits from this in a pretty compact package. The whole assembly is going to be four and seven eighths of an inch long. It's going to be three and a half inches wide. And it's going to be an inch and one eighth thick. Now many of our customers have questions in regards to where to mount this. Now as long as you set this up when your trailer or RV is level, as well as the device, I don't see why you couldn't mount it anywhere. However, I personally like it here in the front because it's going to be easier to adjust and easier to see while you're doing that. Now this is going to be very easy to set up and install. So let's go ahead and do it together now. To begin our installation, we're first going to have to start with a level trailer. So I verified that by putting a level along the bottom of our frame. Now that we verified our trailer is level, I went ahead and put a battery in our new level and I cleaned the area that we're going to be mounting it. Now I'm going to mount it here, which would be on the driver's side, right here in this area. Now we're going to want to make sure that we clean this off real good and we're going to be mounting our level one inch from the edge of the front of our travel trailer. 
Now we can stick our level on. But to make it a little easier to work with, I'm going to actually just remove our lid. It just pops right off. And we're actually gonna use the bubble level that's inside to make sure that this is sitting level. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda of eyeball it, give me an idea of where I need to put it. And once I've done that, I'm gonna flip it over and peel off this backing on this two-sided tape. Make sure that bubble's in the center. And once it is, you can firmly push down to get that tape to stick to our trailer. Once we have it stuck to our travel trailer nice and level, I'm gonna open it up and release it. There's going to be a small square tab. We'll push down and slide the level towards the front. And set that off to the side for now. Now I'm going to use our provided screws to screw our mount to the side of our trailer. And I do want to point out, make sure that you have nothing of importance behind here, that way we don't damage anything. Once we have them screwed down, just take our level line it back up over the mount and click it back into place. Now I went ahead and just popped our lid back on and now we can turn it on to see if it's set up correctly. If it is, we should have a solid green light here in the center. To turn it on, we'll hold down the green button. And give it a second. As you can see, we have it set up correctly. And that'll do it for our look at and our installation of the Hopkins electronic LED smart level on our travel trailer.